Hey folks, how are you doing? Right, I'm going to do a tutorial on grinding. I don't often do tutorials as such, normally just hints and tips, but this is going to be yeah, pretty much a tutorial on grinding. Um, and specifically how to get rid of the smiley face. Um, if you don't know what that is, uh, I'll explain it as we go. But uh, I've got, a, got an overgrind blank here. I'm just going to grind it up, take you along for the ride, and, and uh, explain to you what I'm doing as I do it. So I've already ground one up. And then I thought some folks might want to see this, so I'll show it to you. What I'm going to do now, excuse me for turning my back on you, warm belt. So I'm going to break the 90s first with the warm belt, and then I'm going to put the grinds on, and I'm going to give it a deliberate smiley face. I'm basically show you how I do it to, to, to get rid of that and end up with some nice even grinds, all right? So uh, got my lights happening, doctor is in the surgery. And um, yeah, check it out. So first things first, as you know, breaking the 90s is basically taking off the 90 degree edge here. All right, because if you try and put that up to, uh, I've explained this before in a previous vid, uh, breaking the 90s vid actually. If you put it up to a fresh belt, that will just strip the teeth straight off it. All right, so I've got a warm belt here. I'm going to take the 90s off so that when I actually grind it with a decent belt, it doesn't just take all the grit off and you end up with a dull belt after you know the first few passes. So here we go, check it out. Let me open the door. So that's a 90s broken, as you can see. Fairly even. I sort of try and take the time to get the uh, to get that particular part even, and it's just a case of grinding it down after that. There's still quite an edge on there. Let's see what if I grind it down a bit, you be able to see it better. Hang on a sec. You can see there's still quite an edge on there, but uh, you can also see that the plunges they're, they're not a problem, you know. I mean, I've, and I've started them a little bit further forward than I want to, okay, because that's just the rough grind. When I start grinding this properly, then I'll start cutting in the plunges, and I'll show you what I do there. I'm going to swap the belt over for a decent one.
And now what I'm going to do for the first few passes is basically, I'll put a link in the description box to my break in the 90s vid because that goes uh, explains that process a lot better than what I did just then. And you can check that out. But basically I'm, I'm leading in, say the plant's here, I'm leading in like that and then going across like that. So I'm cutting in with the edge of the belt and then I'm going across like that and flatten it all out. And I'm going to do the same thing here when I start doing the actual grind. I'm going to cut it in with the edge of the belt and then bring it back again. One other thing I'm going to do, and I found this uh, this helps, <coughs> is I'm going to start with my weak hand. My left hand is my strong hand when I'm grinding, so I'm going to start with my weak hand. Reason being is because if I get a perfect grind going on my strong hand, then I have to chase it up with the right with with my weak hand. It's a lot harder to do. But if you get the grind going with your weak hand first, and you get a decent grind happening, it's a lot easier to match it up with your strong hand afterwards. So I'm going to start with my weak hand, then I'm going to grind the bevels on this. I'm going to start at this point here, where the plunge goes in for the 90s, and then I'm going to move it back a little bit. And then I'll show you what I do just before I do that. That's the first 90. As you can see, I've taken the grind back a little bit there. What I'm basically doing is I'm going in at angles. Starting off at the broken 90, then first few passes, tilting it in a little bit more, tilting it in a little bit more, tilting it in a little bit more as I get to the height that I want to get. Also, with the tall rest, you'll notice that I'm not actually resting on the tall rest for the most part of it. I'm close, but I'm not actually resting on it. My hands are just lightly above it. Basically, this ain't so much a tall rest as a gut rest. What it's doing is, is it's taking out any forward and back motion that I might have, because I'm resting my gut against it as I do it. I'm basically breathing very shallowly as I do it. So my distance from the belt is going to be the same every time. Whereas if I had that out of the way, then you're relying on your legs to keep your balance. Okay, So I'm keeping that there, and that keeps me at an equal distance. And then my arms are just locked in just lightly, and my hands are just slightly above probably about five mil above the actual tall rest. So I'm not dragging across it or anything like that. I'm just floating above it, all right? This, for all I care, this could be a stick coming out here with some sort of cushion on it just to keep me comfy. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all it's stopping me from doing is rocking in and I'll get a consistent distance. So I'm gonna follow this grind up a little bit more, give myself a smiley face and show you how I rectify that. Okay, see that? That's what we call a smiley face. What is that called a smiley face? I believe Marshall does too. Okay, where it smiles up like that. Because basically the tendency is, because, and this is, like I say, this is aimed at the noobs here, you know what I mean? Experienced knife makers will know all about this. But the tendency is, is to, because your plunge is where your grind starts, 
it's a tendency to start at the plunge. Does that make sense? And that's the most vulnerable part for basically screwing up. Okay, because you're going in and it's got minimal contact with the belt and it's easy to get that smiley face there, like I say. So what I'm going to do to get rid of that is I'm going to start grinding with the flat of the belt just a little bit along from that, probably about three quarters of an inch long from that. All right. So I'm going to go in there, I'm going to feel my belt from there and then I'm going to bring it back across all right, towards the plunge. And by doing that, I can feel the belt better because I've got more contact with the belt and then I can line all this up so that that smiley face disappears. The, the, the height of the grind basically matches up with that. Now, when I'm going into the belt, my approach on the belt is the same every time. Softly, softly catchy monkey. Okay, this is running full speed. But basically as I'm approaching it, I'm eyeing it up as I go over the top of the blade and then I'm going into it. And as I go in, I'm going in very gently. I'm not holding it tight, clamping onto it, death grip or nothing like that. I'm holding it gently so there's still some movement in the fingers. And I'm leading ever so slightly with the edge. All right. I found that if I lead with the uh, the shoulder of the bevel, by the time you've rectified it, you can end up taking that a little bit higher than you want to. But if you lead ever so slightly with the edge, it tends to kick the blade back slightly. And of course, you've got all this meat to play with before you even need to worry about messing up the edge. So even if you do go in a little bit too hard, it will just take a a little tweak off that and then you can just rock it in and get your uh, get your approach right so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be going in leading with the edge ever so slightly softly softly then I'm going to feel the belt as I go in and that's when I know it's flat and then I can bring it back across to the plunge bring it back to the tip there and we'll straighten out this smiley face all right
Okay, so we've got rid of that smiley face, we will grind up in line with it now. Now what I want to do is tidy up this plunge. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the approach exactly the same on the centre of the belt. Okay, so I'm going to come in now, centre of the belt, bring it across right up to the plunge area. Now when I get to the plunge area, I'm going to lock my hands, bring it away, move it over a touch, and then bring the plunge in. Okay, so this has basically set up my angle of approach, and then I bring it back slightly, and then I'll go in with the plunge. Alright, so I'm using that bevel there as a guide for my angle of approach to get the plunge in. Right, there you go. Nice smooth plunge as we go in. Let's get some light on that. You see that? Nice smooth plunge as we go in. Now, what I've got here is I've got about two mil, two mil overlap on the belt off the off the side of the plan. And basically, as you're going in, you bring it in and then you swoop it in. Let me see if I can show you this way. Come in. Come here. You see that? I didn't know it's this side of the fucking damn camera. Can we see that? You're upside down. I don't know if you can see that. But basically, as you're going in, you bring that radius in yourself like that. All right? Nice sort of smooth fluid motion so there we go we've got a flat grind happening now now I'm going to do the other side and match them up as closely as I can
we can see that those plunges are pretty much spot on. Not got a super radius on them right now, like super clean radius, but then that is down to I say what's down to. I can tidy that up on the 80 grit that I'm going to after this. But there we go, we've got a flat grind that side flat grind that side, the, the point where they meet up on the blade is absolutely spot on and if we get the mic out we can see that we line it up there and then flip it around to the other side it's just a fraction absolute the tiniest fraction different so that's how we do that now I'm going to follow this up with an 80 grit and then straight this is already HT now HT steel is a lot easier, I'd say, to grind than non HT steel. Reason being is because it's harder to fuck up. Um, it tastes longer and it's more, t more sort of like rearing on the belts, but because it tastes longer, it's harder to sort of get that little blip and just take a chunk out. I try and grind a heat treated steel as much as I can. If I'm heat treating in my own oven, then I'll put I'll put like a sort of primary grind on it and then grind the rest after it's been heat treated. But hopefully that's answered your questions. If you oh, I know you had some because I've been getting emails about it. So hopefully that's answered all your questions, especially how to get rid of that smiley face. Okay, this is the one I've done before that. Um, normally I'd recommend obviously scribing out the centre line but I've sort of, I've, I've ground enough blades now I don't really need to do that but normally I'd recommend scribing out the centre line and to do that get your Sharpie Magnum, I mean clean up clean up your, your profile first so it's shiny steel not, I mean this has been this has been a laser cut and heat treated get your Sharpie Magnum or your Daikon Blue or whatever marking fluid you're using Get your micrometers. This is how I do it anyway. It's not, it's not the greatest for your micrometers. It sort of does wear the end a little bit. But uh, measure it up. 5.86. So half that is 2.5, 2.93. I hope my maths ain't the best. But if I line that up to 2.93. I can then bring that down the centre line like that, swap it round just to make sure it's equal, and there is my scribed centre line. And then of course you use that as a guide to grind up to. Alright, so there you go. Nice flat grind now, and then you can convex it how you like or you know do whatever you need to do. But hopefully that has answered a lot of your questions, especially the noobs, you know what I mean? Because when you when you first start out there's a million and one questions and trying to go through all the forums and the internets and all that and you know find the answers for it is one thing but uh, I know I've got a lot of noobs watch my channel, sub to my channel and whatnot and hopefully this will give you a, a kick start on the way obviously it's down to practice, it's down to feeling the steel, it's down to feeling the belt you know and it's down to you know basically trying and trying and trying okay so thanks for coming along Till next time, peace.